hello hello darlings welcome back to my youtube channel if you're here for the first time don't forget to subscribe and if i subscribe thank you for doing that thank you for your love and your support my name is aziz amina ceo of us of mina and today tutorial will be learning how to make this fascinator so i'm going to be teaching you how to build this fascinator so you can get the red made on base you can try to get on at the market but i think it's a little bit scarce so just decided to make another base and uh, the flower just and the color was so scarce so i started to spray it and i'm going to show you how, how i made this so you can arrange your flower to the front to any size you want and that is the clothing and that is the spray so i'll be changing that clothing from gold to pink and that is my rose flower that is rose flower can you see this is what this is the rose flower and this is the leaf just take a look at this and this is the circle just look at it that is the leaf just look at this can you see so if you don't forget to subscribe like i said earlier so just look at this so i'm going to zoom in so for you guys to see it and so this is the velvet cap that i used you can get the one in the picture if you want if you can get it but i couldn't get it so i decided to make use of this and this is the bias so i'm going to change the bias to pink color oh i'm not too fast so 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 that is it again that is it so let's diy so that is it so that is it so i'll be showing you the material one half the other. so this is the plating quilolin that i'll be using for this tutorial and this is my nylon for spraying and this is the spray this is called spray paint this is spray paint and this is uh, the net i'll be working with this is the net i'll be working with this net you can get any net of your choice you can get any um vet cap of your choice so that is it if you want the vet cap to just look like the one i showed you it can have fiber inside so it's going to make it so big so that is it i'll set that aside and that is my alice band that's my list band and my needle and thread, my glue comb, so and that is my bias, and um, that is my flower, my rose. So can you see? Just cut into pieces, and that is the flower. So let's get started. So the measurement I use for this clothing, I use two yard of clothing. One yard is thirty six inches. So we are going to mention two inches, two yards. Sorry, that is thirty six in two places. Just look at it. So we'll be doing a running stitching just the way I'm doing it. You can check my first videos on how to do a running stitch. Just see what I'm doing. Just keep doing that. You keep doing that. You fold and you bring out your your needle. Just be very careful when you're doing this. Just see what I'm doing. You take it to the last edges and you pull it out so just look at it so i'm done with that so i've already tied it so i've already tied it and the next thing i'll be doing i'll be sewing the center of the quilolin so it's not going to lose back i'm going to sew it with my needle and thread just the way i'm doing it now so you're going to use the needle and thread to sew it in and how just the way i'm doing it it's so easy to do just see what i'm doing keep watching what i'm doing so easy to do so just see it you can check people's on my videos on how to make fascinator to ban i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel so that is it so that part and the next thing we'll be doing now will be you create we're going to create our red cap like i said earlier you can get the red made red cap or you can build it by yourself just see it. so i'm going to build this and i'm going to fold it i'm going to fold this inside I'll fold it inside. I'm going to fold this inside. And if you want it to be full, just want it, if you want it to come out, you can add your fiber inside. You can add a fiber inside. So I'm going to pull this one inside. You fold just the way I'm folding. Can you see the way my hand is going? You fold just like that. And use a needle and thread to sew that part. I'm going to fold inside and use my needle and thread to sew that part. Before I sew that part, I'm going to spray. I'm going to change the colors to pink. I couldn't get the color, so I started to spray. I started to spray. So just see what I'm doing. 
so the next thing we'll be doing now you're going to be see just what i'm going to do right now so this is my spray this is a spray paint and it's color pink it has so many color so that's this so i'm working with um pink color and um i'm going to put the nylon down so you just, just look at this i'm going to place this on it then what i'm going to do i'm still going to fold so i'm still going to fold i'm going to fold it very neatly so it's time to spray i'm going to spray this i'm going to change the color like i said earlier so i'm going to spray it so you have to be very careful when you are spraying for the first time you can use a nose mask to cover your nose because of the odor just spray it just when i'm spraying it that is what i'm doing i'm going to spray it i'm keep doing that i'm going to change the color can you see it's so easy to do so just see what i'm doing make sure you watch the video from the beginning to the end so you can understand what i'm doing so i'm going to spray this and i'm change all i'm going to spray it, the upper place and the down place can you see what i'm doing so 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 i'm done with the spraying so i've already changed the color to pink color so i've already sprayed it you can spray it to color of your choice just see what i'm doing so the next thing we'll be doing that can you see the sewing part so i'm going to the sewing parts and um if we can you can fold it anyhow you can shape it anyhow just anyhow you can do it just see what i'm doing so the next thing we'll be doing right now is i'm going to be using this bias to cover i'm going to use it to cover the sewing part so you can spray the bias so it's important for you to sew the bias